Welcome back to the Between the Lines web chats. We're here with linebackers Butch Pau and Sione Taki Taki. What's up, guys? How are you? I'm really good. We were just talking about how media day was. One thing I like about media day is you guys get brand new shirts. Yeah, they're free too. I like that. Free yeah, shirts. I like, yeah, they're, they're really nice, so I like getting them. I know, they have a nice look and feel. Do you guys wear these after media day? Because you probably have a handful by now. Uh, not unless we have to go to some. BYU function and you guys at BYU. Other than that, yeah. You mean you're not repping the Y outside of You know, BYU? with the way we oh, live, that's how we rep the Y. Come on, man. Yeah. Hey, that's a good point. That's a really good point. We have tons of workout clothes, too, that we wear. Like, you know, the shirts that we get for free. Yeah. Stuff. Oh, really yeah, you, guys have, yeah. you guys have so much stuff. Athletes, yeah, we're really mm. lazy. Sweats and, and a regular <laughs> shirt is hard time. I wish I could wear that every day. I <laughs> would, nice, right? Yeah, just the things you don't want, just hand them my way. I'll take them and wear them every day. All right, Sione, we had you on Between the Lines playing ping pong. Do you remember that I do. experience? What, what was that like for you? Uh, I didn't warm up. You guys didn't okay. let me warm up. Yeah, so true. I felt like I, I, I had the it lower hand in that one. Yeah. And, uh, oh, here you go. But it was, we got but a little footage of it yeah. going right now. <laughs> Who are you playing? My opponent actually brought his uh, own ping from pong. Evan Troy so Ping pong. Uh, yeah, Evan brought his own ping pong paddle. Okay, that's unfair. Yeah, yeah uh, you show up and you see a guy with his own ping pong paddle. Uh -huh. you, you just don't have a, you don't have a chance. But yeah, I mean, but it was fun. It good. was fun. It was a good time. Hopefully you had a good time. You yeah. were you were pretty good. That was a thing. Like, you're a pretty good ping pong player. And then he yeah. comes and just he's just next level. Yeah. yeah. Do you play ping pong, Butch? No, I'm tennis. Tennis is something I love to play, but really? ping pong, no, it's too tough. Are you a decent tennis player? Uh, I'm decent forehand, <laughs> okay serve. Other than that, no backhand and no volley, so <laughs> I stay at the very back and try and forehand everything. That's all. I, two shots. That's all you need. Exactly. You can hang. Exactly. See, so, apart from football, what would you say is your best sport that you uh, play? I like basketball. Okay. I, I play it, but I'm not really good, but yeah. I, I like to play it. No, Butch is he's, actually. He's pretty nice. Butch he's actually has normal. a really good shot. Really? Yeah. No. Like jump shot, three point? What are we talking here? Just all together. Mm -hmm. just a good all shot. together. Um, three point. I'm good he's, at a, he's a three pointer. I'm, I'm good at layups. Wow. <laughs> I can lay the ball up really well. <laughs> I'm going to send it right underneath the basket. Hey, but not a lot of people are good at layups, so that's, yeah, that's still true. impressive. So uh, guys on the defense are known for their like sack celebrations and tackle celebrations. Do you guys have, do you have a go-to thing that you do every time you get a, a sack? We'll start with Sione. Do you have something you do every time? Uh, not really. I'm really? Just, at the time, I'm just really excited and I'll probably do something weird or, or crazy at the time, but I don't really have like a go-to move that I'm like ready to do. It's but I've been doing some handshakes with all the boys, so. Okay. So yeah, that's something that. We got something right here. So there you go, you get the tackle. Oh, it stopped. Well, anyway, it was, maybe we'll come back to it. It was yeah, really cool. That's right. But you're you're coming up with some handshakes, you said? With like yeah, ten so, different guys. Yeah. So I just make Pretty handshakes up with all the boys. Wow. So you get and, a tackle uh, and you just got to run around yep. the team and make sure. If he's by me, then it's like perfect. Hey. You know what I mean? <laughs> but if he's not, I'm like. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's right, awesome. Right there, yeah. I like that. I like yeah. it. What's your go-to? Uh, just try and celebrate with the boys on the team. Don't really have one. Or smile, I guess. But, yeah, that's the one we're showing here. This I think it was in 2016. <laughs> yeah. but, but you got that huge tackle against Utah, and you just have the biggest grin. Yeah, so smile on your face. with one of the teammates. That's fine with me. Wow. Yeah. Do you do that every time? Do you feel the smile just coming? Yeah. After just because, I mean, it's a big hit against another guy who's actually a really good player. And so it, it can change the momentum of the game sometimes. And so I'm excited for us to continue to play and continue to do that throughout the game. So. That's got to pump up your teammates so much. How do you guys get in to the offense's, uh, their heads? Like when you guys are playing defense, how do you, how do you get in their heads? Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh. Talk I, trash. Is yeah, there a lot of talking that, that goes? Just kind of talking during the game huh. or even at practice when we compete against our, our guys. I think me and Bush like, like to get, <laughs> get amped up and yeah, uh, talk a little bit, but. I mean, well, the thing is, like, this guy has the most energy on the team, so he never gets tired. <laughs> Me, when it comes to game time, I'm kind of just focusing on myself, my responsibility, <laughs> making sure that us as a defense are okay, so. And Sione's looking over there like, ooh, yeah, uh, my no, he's, he's, he's boosting me right now. He actually has a lot of energy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we've sometimes, seen that. Sometimes. We've seen it. You both are seniors this year, right? Yes. And leaders on the defense. What impact do you think that's going to have this year to kind of have that, that veteran mindset? How, how do you feel like that's going to influence the team? We'll start with Sione. Um, be ourselves. And, uh, yeah, man, Butch, he's, he's just a natural-born leader. 
you know, just leading us. I look at him as a, as a leader, as a guy that uh, I go to when I, um, you know, when I need something or I need to tell so somebody something. And um, and then me, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of, you know, in your face, kind of different. But uh, I feel that we, you know, I think together, when we bond that together, I think it's it's really good, you know, for the team as a whole. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I love that. What what, what's cool to see is because this guy has played basically every position on the field. It's cool to see him basically take charge of each of those positions when now he's playing linebacker, but he's still in charge of the defensive lineman too because hmm. he's or he already knows the defense and what they need to do on certain plays. And so he's taking that responsibility upon himself to be able to do that with us as linebackers as well. And so it's cool to just see that because we have three years under our belt, we we kind of know how the thing, how the flow of things go. Hmm. And with that being said, I mean, it's it's an easy transition for us to be able to just say, okay, guys, this is what needs to be done in order for us to have a successful season, or this is the kind of footwork you need to do in order to get to this spot on a certain play so that you can be the one to get that interception or be, able, be the one to make the big play. So I think we're going to be okay this year. I like that you guys, you guys have, yeah, there this it is. This is my dog right here. There it is. He's, he's talking me up too. <laughs> <laughs> that was yours. No, that, that's what I like about this dynamic. You have different personalities, but I could see both of those being very good in a leadership role on the defense. So I'm excited to see that. We're going to play a couple games here. Okay. This first one's called Did You Know? These are different things about the two of you, okay? So did you know Sione is the youngest of seven kids? The youngest of seven kids. How, what was that like growing up for you? Uh, it was good. I, I, I liked it. Um, yeah, by the time I was like old enough to even know stuff, I had like sisters, you know, already moving out and we were with their <laughs> own families and stuff like that. So yeah, I grew up with a, you know, a, a wide variety of uh, ages in my family, cool. and I loved it. You know what I mean, it was pretty cool. I'm the youngest of seven kids too, so. No I'm way. With you. Yeah, yeah, I'm That's with crazy. you. Thirteen years between the oldest and the youngest. How about you? Huh? Yeah, what about you? Dang, that's kind of bad. I don't, I don't actually know. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I thought about it about before. Know, but you could. Yeah, there's a lot of ages, a lot of birthdays. Yeah. And uh, now I got tons of nieces and nephews. And, that's awesome. And so it's just a lot to, you know. That's so fun. Facebook keeps me updated, though. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, there you go. Dang. One you know of the mean? joys of Facebook, seriously. Yeah. All right. Did you know Butch? Butch's mom sends him a letter before every game. Does that actually still happen? Yeah. She still so sends him a letter. So it's either a letter or a text message, a really long paragraph of what I need to do in preparation for the game. And she just continues to remind me that I played the game for so long that there's no really need to worry or have any stress about what I'm supposed to do on the field. So, so that really they're basically kind of motivational speeches. Yeah. To you to so like in high school, when she was sending me the letters, I put it in my shoulder pad and would play with it. And now sometimes mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do the same thing, just print out the text message or just send it to my email, print it off, and then put it in my shoulder pad. Oh. Just so she knows that I'm playing for her and playing for my family as well. That's so cool. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. All right. Did you know Sione is married to a former BYU swimmer? Yeah. Is that so she is a swimmer, right? A former uh, swimmer? Oh, yeah. She's a swimmer. Is she pretty athletic? Just she's all pretty around? athletic. Yeah. Our kids will get all the athletic genes and looks from her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm really lucky, yeah. Is that like why you sought her out where you're like, do, do guys do that? I'm super curious. Like if they're like, she's gonna, we're going to have some athletic kids if I marry her. You know, like. Oh, uh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah I didn't, it was part of the mindset, Yeah, at the time right? I didn't really like, hey, but yeah, it was a bonus. It was like, yeah. You know, she's athletic. <laughs> yeah. Might as well not. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, did you know Butch is from Anaheim? So what we really want to know with, with this one is, are you obsessed with Disney or Disneyland? I've been there once. You've been there one time and you grew up in Anaheim. I've been there once in my life. I mean, we saw the fireworks every night, but I mean, Disneyland is just too expensive. Yeah, so it is really we're the kind of kids to just go to the park, hang out with our cousins, or go to the beach and hang out with the family. Never really went to Disneyland. I think the only reason we went to Disneyland was because there was a guy in our ward who worked there, and so he gave us some free passes. and. Ever since then, I haven't gone back and don't plan on it unless they <laughs> drop down the tickets to like 10 bucks. Yeah, so and that's that, never I'm, gonna happen. I'm gonna be okay just in my house. I actually think that's really cool because you get those people there to just obsess with everything Disney. Yeah, there's a lot cool of people Cool that it was in your backyard and you're like, huh. yeah, that a lot of people here in Utah. Line. All right. So, did you know, <laughs> Sione, this, this is actually nothing to do with about you, but we you're were about to clown me. <laughs> we were wondering if you like the chips talkies. Oh my. Because your last name. You've probably been asked that before. I actually really love the chips. You do love them. Yeah. And so for Halloween, me and my wife were actually were the talkie chips. 
and we had ordered the bags. Oh my like gosh. 10 pieces in there, you know, the little yeah. bags to hand out, you know, at our doorstep. That is kids. awesome. Yeah, so I really That's love talking. Funny. That is the coolest yeah. thing. What a really what a cool crazy. idea. Okay, well that yeah. makes me happy. Good, because I'm like, this is gonna be so stupid, but I gotta ask. I gotta ask. <laughs> oh yeah, I love all okay. this. We're gonna play another really stupid game. Oh, it's called Try no. and Shout. Do you, have you guys played this before? I have. I've seen it done. See, now here you go. So let me just show you how. Like I'm not gonna put it, but it goes this way, and you guys stick it in your mouth. So we're gonna have Butch go first, oh, so you can see this. how it goes. Of course, I'm going first. And I'm gonna give you guys a phrase. So, so, so before. In like. Before it go. Huh. Like this, and that's gotta go in like that. Uh huh. Oh my wow. Yep, it's gotta go right in. Open this your this mouth. might pop out my uh, fake tooth that I have. Oh, um, we don't want to do that. If it's, it's gonna it's do gonna, that. It's actually screwed really. Oh. <laughs> we don't it's want funny. any teeth falling out. out. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a phrase, and he's gonna say it, and you have to guess what he's saying. You're putting it in backwards. Sorry. <laughs> like this? No. So. Like this. Yes. There you go. Oh, I feel hot. Is that better? Yeah. That's all. Oh, that looks good. That looks real good. Okay. Hey, no clowning. Okay. Here's your, here's your phrase. So say it, Sione, and he has to guess what you're saying. Ah. What makes the perfect clay? Say that one more time. What makes the perfect clay? Butch makes the perfect clay. There you go. Oh, good work. You got it. All right, one more. One more for you. It hurts. <laughs> it does hurt. Video, are you clay? Air height, the penalty. Video something. Uh-huh. Please say it one more time, bro. Video, are you clay? Air height, the penalty. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, All bro. Right, one more try. One more try. That's good. One more time? Yeah, one more time. Video, replay, air hide, the penalty. Video, replay, uh -huh. side, close. <laughs> Verified the penalty. That's a, oh. that was a hard one. That was a hard one. All right, now it's your turn. If you don't think you're going to be losing any teeth. Oh, yeah. You got I, think, this? I think I'm fine now. There you go, that way. Mm hmm. That's pretty good. It's, it's screwed in, Kyle. It's screwed in. And I lose it. Okay, here's your first oh, no, one. I can't. Here's your first one. No, listen, I'm. Black, Drayden, and Drayden, how are you doing? Drayden and Bracken O'Backen? You uh -huh. got it, good work. All right, one more. Oh. This is for all the marbles right here to end, so end this web chat. Oh, Tana, the land, the girl cut. <laughs> Huh? Hannah, the land, the Hannah? <laughs> it does sound like Hannah. So it sounds like Hannah or Tanner. <laughs> so can you say it again? Hannah, the land, the girl cut. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. Do one, one more time, one more time. One word at a time. Hannah, the land, the girl cut. Somebody's going to win the World Cup. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Kenya? Panama. 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 That was pretty good, Are though. Are they even in the World Cup? I don't know. I think so. I tried, bro. Hey, I'm sorry. That was my fault. That was my I fault. Think, hey, that was really good, guys. That was entertaining. Thank I learned you. a lot about you guys. <laughs> Hopefully you learned a lot about each other, too. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for being here with us. Thank Up 